For me, I got to live the best of both worlds, but for the most part, I was in the dungeon. Like, you know, we, we damn near was crack babies and things like that. I'm getting from my conversations with your people today, that you have a lot of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my first question is, how do you as assemble a group like this? And how do you maintain some sort of structure? One thing about it is that all these niggas are some real people. Mm -hmm. They got some hell of five stories and things like that. And it just feels good to know that I'm not an outcast. Like there are a lot of people out there like me that come up and in, in, in the same in, from the same place. You're like almost like the responsible one, right? Now I am, and that's the funny <laughs> thing, cause you know, at the, when you're dealing with, with with these type these type of dudes, you know, through their loyalty for what we're doing, they're, they're very emotional, and it's hard to, to to do what you normally would do or react the way you would normally react act in the street when you inside this music business. Like there's a lot of stuff you gotta take on the chin. And there's one goal that we are trying to achieve and, and, and that's to get on the top and, and break the barrier and get these niggas out the street, man. Let them let them get a chance to live life like I, like I did and even better than me, I mean. But it's cool, man, you're supposed to, they say the game is to be uh, sold, not to be told, but it takes a real nigga to tell another real nigga the game and so that you won't learn from failure. They trying to force my hand, but the city don't believe you. So in my New York state of mind, but I'm much over strength. I'm much over strength. Uh, Jones. I got these new niggas oh. coming at me. Whole niggas instigating. Fuck. But we turn niggas into patients. I see you. High school gown, I'm with a side sprayed up. What? On the uptown high block, you got us ride eight up. Oh, now you got in Miami from four goons away. Jones. Been doing shows so long, niggas thought I moved away. I'm back. Make no error. We getting money like the Reagan era. 06 summer, I played the Carrera. Top down, facing the weather. I'm zigzagging through the traffic, see the Jakes in the mirror. And the range got the smaller kids. But the fam got me annoyed a bit. The more cases with shit, the more the lawyer get. I guess it's new friends, one of them dead. And it's old friends, one of the brand. Like I brought them with Richard. Well, shit, I guess murder is a business. And I hope God grants serenity. We cop the cars with all amenities. Like the Ferraris from out in Italy. The drop tops with the scanners in them. What else? Top drop with the hammers in them. And fuck the book price. Fuck it. We can't money, it's too crook like. He called the best, so I shook the dice. My wounds, no foot the dice. Head crack made him look alike. We chef up yay like we cooking rice. Lost the world trade and they pushed up the price. And everybody want a superhero. And I just want to shoot the hero. Hop up in the whip and make the coup for zero. To a buck in four seconds like y'all. Whipping through the city, more weapons in the truck. Watch your 
up your little fuck. Little fuck. The homie's throwing tantrums. Yeah. The stupid ass broke. My young boy got a phantom. Santana. And all white got him cooking like his coat. What else? The Casper GT got him looking like a ghost. Oh, so don't die to get your point across. Don't do it. His life is like a coin toss. One flip. 50 50 chance. Got a pistol in my pants. Flip Have it. a mill on my neck. So yeah. let your bitch yeah. get it pants. I got my way to track. Good, 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 good. 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 Crazy. I don't see none of them niggas. Them niggas normally, they be having nigga, they be having nigga ride stiff. A nigga be like this. A nigga see them, a nigga be straightened up like. Or I can't afford to go back in there. They be having nigga fixing up real quick. Then they gonna get me in the can tonight. Got too much shit going on. I will be scared. I get pulled over some bullshit. I go to the precinct and they put up some whole other warrant shit they was looking for me for. I go through for a bag of weed. Next day I know my bill two hundred and fifty thousand. They tell me I, I shot somebody last month and two years ago. Get the fuck out of here! Y'all niggas ain't find me in two years. I've been on every fucking DVD and TV show. Y'all niggas just picking me up right now. Get the fuck out of here! Niggas is crazy, man. Shout out to Stack Bundles, man. Nah, we give it up. Yo, yo stacks, man. It's about to pop off, nigga. I got you. I still got you, nigga. You ain't here, but I got you, nigga. You here with me right now. You're in my heart, nigga. And for all them niggas that ain't put no work in behind that, fuck y'all niggas, man. Word up, fuck y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas soft. Word up. Like I said, but I'm even gonna speak on that, but um, the situation's still at hand. But, um, shout to Stack Bundles. Shout to Stack's whole family. I miss you, dude. I love the shit out you, Scrap. You know that. I love you, nigga. Um, you know, that's the matter at hand. We still marking. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homies rapping that beat game. You know what it is. We brazy on this side. Boom. You know what I'm saying? If I want to, I might. And I'm hungry right now, so I might go get, a, get some bacon and, and, and french fries. You know what I'm talking about? I'll get you some of that bacon. We don't eat chicken, we eat bacon. I don't kick it with nobody, I bick it with them. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, go to the Viennese restaurant and get four bicking wings and tell them to butt it up, you heard? Could I ask if you've ever been um, in jail? Mm hmm. Long time? Going back and forth since June that. I'm sure there's things about that that change, that define you. Learn from mistakes. I ain't saying I ain't bragging about none of that jail shit. I don't. I mean, I don't want to go back in there no more. Now, do you have kids? Any kids? Yeah, I got a daughter. She's my baby right there. How old is she? She eight. So she had. Has she been around? Has she had to see yeah, you through that? She been through a lot with me. She been through a lot. She been visits. She came up to the hospitals. I had to call a little. You know, been through a little. You know, gunfire activity. She been through all that. She came to the hospital for all that. She know. She know what's up. She learned fast. That's a lot for a little yeah. girl to see. She's about four, too. Wow. She still be asking me about that shit, too. What'd she say? Nah, she made a mistake and put her finger on one of the, one of the holes. She ain't know, like I took my shirt off. I was sitting on the bed, we was watching TV. You know, a little kid playing around. She behind me, I don't know if she behind me. And she came behind me and like she was trying to do it sneaky, like, and she put her whole fucking finger. Uh. I jumped yeah. up like, oh, I reacted like. Is it still an open hole like that? Nah, that's when it first happened. It's oh. closed, man. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't really know no better. Were you to the point? I don't know how badly you hurt, but was it like life threatening? Yeah, it's life threatening. Did you, you think you were gonna? Did you think you were gonna die? The bullet, the bullet wasn't too far. Um, the bullet wasn't too far from my main blood vessel, the aorta. Mm -hmm. So, like an inch away. So, lucky. You know what I'm saying, but what's the question? What did you ask me again? When I was um, indulging heavy in the streets, I, I made a lot of reports with a lot of people. And from that, 
ended up in Brooklyn. That's how I met Melly at a very young age. He was, he was real popular in his neighborhood for him being so young. I kept him under the wing. They call me Melly Matrix. Um, when it comes to Bird Gang, you know, I'm a problem chat. Y'all start popping them bottles to get over here. So funny niggas, they you see these bottles starting to pop up everywhere again. I don't know what's going on out here. I'm not even, I'm about to leave because they trying to get smashed. Now I'm on the speed, drink a red bull blood, then I roll up the weed while I'm mobbing with the G's. All the goonies blast foes. See a nigga hating on my gang and pull a mad slow. Nah, I don't think you want that My young boy take your head home for a hot stack Snatched by the pigs, we ain't speaking Militant minded, train to fall asleep in the precinct Jewish lawyer, that's my pass to the street Never snitch, follow codes and get cash in the street My red rag, my Jeep pass in the street If it's red apples fall, the Scooby pass me the heat You know my gang bang harder Summertime and the hoop ride is the charges and we never tend to be If the beef gon' pop Then the shit is meant to be I ain't trying to keep telling you niggas Bird gang at the best, nigga Mel Murder, a.k.a. Night Night, nigga A.k.a. Pull a Mad Slow, nigga A.k.a. Bird Gang Problem Child And I don't think y'all want them problems Cause I, I, I revolve on my problems You did? I revolve on my shit I ain't say evolve, I say revolve but I made a transition. <laughs> oh, man, y'all think it's fucking funny, man. I mean, yeah, still bird game. I didn't see the bird still fly. And this, and, and, and this is just in the hood. This is just regular shit in the hood. This is real. All that. This is hood. All that. All that. This is real. This is in the hood. Boogers, everything. Like, yo, this is how we mobbing. None of that bang bang shit y'all niggas be wearing, you heard? And none of food gays on me. Well, these diamonds is good. She know the rules. You never get to see the balls. And if you do catch them, you might be flying like a world of sport. One truck behind them for them niggas with the deadly thoughts. Pay like we boy because life could be a heavy cost. And I got heavy thoughts. I'm plotting on these weak niggas. One phone call, I could drop me like three niggas. Sad man said the price is running like a G and niggas. So I dropped 20, told him kill me like a fleet of niggas. Nah, nah, I don't think they understand. If I really want it, I could drop me like a hundred grand. Damn, and they still don't get the drift. I can send a kite in my sleep and still get you hit. Lock, load, play a plot strategy. Make the wrong move, show them a thing about gravity. And I'm just thinking, one of the homies asking me when I kill him if they scream, God is that blasphemy. Everybody was bring to me in, in different ways, and some people wasn't even supposed to rap or do music. Mm. It just happened, but no way we had a mutual friend that, that knew the type of risk I like to take and, and know how much of, of an asshole I like to be at times, and it was, it was sort of a perfect fit. I don't fit too well with people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't afraid to say it. I'm not like the, the clicked up type of dude, you know what I mean? 
I think, honestly, in the business, I think Jim was probably the only nigga who really understood what Jimmy. I was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it was no pressure there to be something I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? He don't pressure me to click up with niggas and hang out with niggas and shit like that. And even in the streets, it wasn't my thing. If it wasn't business, I wasn't really trying to, you know, buddy up with niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I half the niggas I ain't trust no way. Most most dudes just a facade anyway. They all fake, fake gangsters, fake hustlers, fake, fake bangers, fake whatever. You know what I'm saying? Until you get a real nigga in their chest. Did you ever do time? Was of course. Of yeah, I did. For what? Um, my first charge was a drug charge. You know, got caught up in, you know, a little sting operation or whatever. Investigated. You know what I mean? Got caught up. And and how long did you do? I did a year and a half for that. Um, then my next charge was a gun charge. I, mean, I don't really know nobody who ain't caught a gun charge. Right. That was just stupidity too, you know? Mm -hmm. Wasn't thinking. Got caught up in that. Did like 18 months for that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. You know what I mean? I never really got, you know, I never did a heavy stretch, fortunately. You know what I'm saying? But right. the little bit of time I did get was enough. <laughs> I ain't trying you to be like, you know what saying? What's so, the same what it is for me? It was enough for me. <laughs> Never, even in the street, I never really did the family thing, you know what I mean? Mm. I was connecting niggas, that was my thing. I connect you with this family, and y'all do business, and just break me off. Like, that was my role, mm. but I ain't trying to be a part of, like, you know what I'm saying, no real long-term shit like that, so. Do you consider this, like, a family kind of version? It's the closest to a family setting that I've ever been in. I just know Baltimore. Um, I've done business in other cities before, but B-Mall is where I was bred, where I was raised. And... It's like no other place I ever been. You know what I'm saying? It's a holocaust going on there. You know what I mean? Like on some real shit. You know what I mean? They don't they don't want none of us to make it out of that city. So, you know, Baltimore's not a good place. You know, it's not. I don't know. What's the worst shit you ever seen? The worst shit in B more? Um The worst shit I ever saw. This little cat used to come to the block, used to be one of my main clients. He was about maybe 12. Mm -hmm. And um, he used to come cop or whatever. I would never sell to him because of his age. You know, but other niggas would sell to him. But he used to come with mad money all the time. And I used to, you know, you know, never know how the fuck this cat come with all this dough all the time. He used to cop weight sometimes. You know what I mean? Come with two, three hundred at a time, he's 12. And um, I just talked to him one day. And I asked him where he got his paper from, and he was like, yo, I suck dick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what the nigga said to me. Like, wow. that fucked me up. Like, in a way that I can't explain. <laughs> you understand what I'm, I'm saying? Sure. Like, and, um, and, and, and I think maybe two weeks later, he came to the block to cop again, and he had his moms with him. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I, I flipped on her like, yo, you don't know what this little motherfucker out here doing? And she was like, I do it too. You know what I mean? Like, that's Baltimore, B. Like, we ain't about the fast cars and the flashy rings, and we cop all that, you know, but those are, you know, those are occupational amenities, you know what I'm saying? Man. But, um. I wonder you hate the hood. We do <laughs> shit, like we that. do shit just to eat oodles and noodles, man. Like, that's, that's B more, man. Like, wow. It's the worst fucking place on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. So, you finished all your homework? Everything? Don't lie to me, girl. Okay, good girl. Okay, all right, listen, daddy's gonna call you back in about an hour, okay? And when I call you back and answer the phone, it's gonna be from a different number, all right? Okay, baby, bye-bye. Nigga, it's Bobby. How are you? You already know, baby. Where the splash at, baby? <laughs> Where the splash at? Oh, oh, it ain't legal, pop. You know what I mean? So what's good, good in the hood? Yeah, everything? It's everything. That's what it is. Yo, that's you. Do me a favor. Mail a motherfucking bag back. You got that, That's Gucci, player. You got you. All right? Yes, sir. Uh, yo, listen. That nigga nut. Tell him call me. Got you. It's been two weeks, you feel me? Yes, sir. You drive it? Man. I drive it. Yeah. Just know the names, know the difference. Yeah, yeah, we late. We late. Uh -huh. Huh? Like a trunk. Make the trunk slap. Yeah. Get the Let's car. do this business. Philip Drummond, penthouse coming, yeah. lawyer still dealing with last, last year's summons, sitting on the city, yeah. scattering the dust, yeah. sheep with the Burberry padding on the cuffs, pounds 
of that hot quinine and bonita A pessimist with a couple nines on the beater Panning, I became a G without planning I became a god without God understanding Me and my man in a Pakistani store Lay a prayer rugs on a Pakistani floor Then talk turkey, points on a dollar How to quote a price and get a millionaire to swallow How you yelling Allah out the numbers y'all holler I'm holding 40 grand in a 98 pile Claus is here. Hey, Santa. How are you? Kill Holly. Pico. And for all this money, man, can you please get an AC in this moment, please? Splashy? Voila. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You hit your head? Yeah, that too. <laughs> We good, as usual. How you been? Good, good. Good? You working out? You, yeah. I can tell. You can tell I've been working out? Yeah. You look good? You look great, good? Huh? Great. Pack that up, baby. We out of here. Bought some more yeah. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. To the other side, go cop me that Ferrari, and then do the Autobahn dirty until I feel out and feel I could do 210. You know what I'm talking about? I want to do Dubai, Jimmy. I want to go to Dubai, homie. Like, keep talking this Dubai I'm shit, sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to do Dubai, my nigga. Dubai, hear what you say? You want to tell me that? Is you a jumper? Dude, I'm a jumper, my nigga. I'm a jump. <laughs> That's what I want. Jump my ass right on that white sand, homie. Right on that white sand. I'm a, I'm a jump on them legs right there, too, son. I can dig it. Hmm. I can dig it. That might cost you. Yeah? Okay. I don't really want to be doing much. I want to be sitting on a beach somewhere smoking a cigar. You know what I'm saying? Letting the sand sink between my toes. I don't want to be nowhere near the hood. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not a nigga who gonna sit up here and say I love the hood. I hate the fucking hood. I hate everything it stands for. I hate everything it represents. I hate every nigga out there who feel like this is where I'm at. This is where I'm going to die. This is it. I done, I done lost a lot of niggas with that frame of mind. And I just, I hate the hood. You feel me? So the sooner I can get my niggas up out the hood and my kids about the hood, I'm good. But I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to go back. It's that jungle line. That's the only murder right there, you heard me? BK status. And the jungle is real. Look, and he get busy, he might bite your camera.